In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at some tips on how to use the chroma key effect, often called the green screen effect. This is where you shoot a subject in front of a solid background. And then in post-production, you use a key process to remove the background, leaving only the subject, which you place on top of a layer with a different background. Let me show you a little bit about that. First of all, I, I've set up some different kinds of backgrounds so you can see that the result that you get will vary according to what you're putting your green screen clip on top of. On the left here, I have on video track number one, no background, so the default is black. And then I have a purple background. Thirdly, I have a white background. Fourth, I have a video um, soccer ball. And then the fifth one I have is another video, which is a sunshine through a forest on a bridge. And then the last one we have is a solid red background. Now the quality of your finished product will vary according to the background. And it does mean you have to key differently for each of them. So let's go ahead and just look at how to do the project. I'm going to click on my Project Assets box and take this uh, garbage MTS file, which has a bunch of green screen footage, and drop it down into video track number two. Then we'll close our window here. So I'm going to move into this project at about this, well, this point in time, and then we'll cut it, because I know I have some stuff that's not worth looking at in the front part. And then we'll make this relatively short. We'll drag it over here and we'll cut it off about here and just take this chunk and use it. So I'll drag it over and put it on top of my video track number one. And the rule is the higher track in the video area wins out. So if I don't do anything, I can't see the tracks below. All I see is my original shoot in front of a green screen. Now some may wonder, well, why green? Well, green screens are very common because green is, is least like the pigment in the human body. Blue is used for the same reason. And because most video shoots have human beings in them, green screens and blue screens cause less conflict when you go to keying because you don't have to worry about similar shades or colors in a human being as opposed to in the background. So we have the green screen here, and we need to make the green area transparent. It's very simple in Premiere Elements 2018. We go to our action bar on the right and click on the FX tab. This gives me all my effects. Instead of scrolling through this huge list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here in the upper right, and I could type either the word green or the word key because it's a a type of key. I'll use key and that takes me to my keying area. And here I have several kinds of keys. I have one for a blue screen, if that's my background. I have one for a green screen and I have some others we won't deal with in this tutorial. So all I need to do is hold the left mouse button down, take my green screen key, drag it and drop it on video track 2, which is my a clip with my green background and let go and immediately it made everything in there uh, transparent so right now my current time indicator is on the purple so I have a purple background If I move it back over here a little bit uh, to this point in time we see that it's on a black background now let's look at some of the things that we can change we can change an item called threshold and cut off. Now you notice we have some issues going on here. I'm not sure if I can see all of the hair here and this is a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one a little bit to the right and it's a little bit better. Okay, a little more natural looking when I'm on no background at all. Let's move the current time indicator over to the purple area and see what we have here. Well this it, is pretty good at this area. Uh, one thing I notice is lighting. Over here on the left side, the light's better, 
and I don't have green but on this side here you notice the sharp edge also around the forehead and a little on the hair and there's still a little green that bounced off the green screen I used five lights in filming this but I was in a small room and some of the green bounced on the subject and without a bigger room it's hard to do that um, but uh, not too bad let's see what it looks like on white when I move it to the white area ooh, this isn't white at all so this kind of looks like a uh, dirty gray background and notice how fuzzy it is so if this were the background I was using I would probably dial this back over here take my threshold down a little bit and that's a little bit better I still have this darker area in my original shoot that I have to figure out what I'm going to do with at some point in time but I can't make it all go away or I'm going to lose a little bit of my subject here so um, that's a little better here on the white let's look at on on top of a video here I'll move the current time indicator here and press play okay and there's a bit of transparency going on here you notice uh, uh, the foot is showing through the subject in the front so I need to go back here if this were my background I would have to move my my cut off the cut off farther to the left it's more transparent you notice more to the right uh, it's more more translucent okay more opaque and there that would be a little better um, in this particular case again it's always a trade-off from one thing to the other now the smoothing is set to none if I set the smoothing to low I don't notice a big change here let's set it to high and again I'm not seeing a lot of difference in this particular case I'll I'll leave it to low here let's look at the next background that we're using uh, the one of, of the scene of the bridge in the woods with the Sun and on this one here let's see I don't see anything bleeding through um, and let's see what happens if I turn the threshold back uh, I could turn it back a little bit nope not that far okay so you can adjust it accordingly again I'm having some issues in the corner here um, and the, the hair is a little on the pr on the dark side here on this one Let's, uh, if I turn this down he disappears and so that would probably be about the best range I could get in that particular clip which isn't too bad okay let's look at the next one the next one is red and uh, I look in the red area here okay we've got pretty clearly defined background on this part of the shoot uh, this is actually uh, from the same video and let's go ahead and see what changes we can make here uh, I can I can turn it up again I'm running into corner lighting over here because it wasn't perfectly and there the hair starts to disappear so you have to make your adjustments accordingly uh, again with a solid background I'm not so worried about transparent just the colors that I want so these are the ways in which you can uh, take and modify uh, this particular tool to use chroma key commonly known as green screen which works equally well in blue screen because of my background were blue I would do the very same things only using this tool instead of the green one